Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, I will show you how to recover from Armon, a Cisco router. Uh, as we can see right here, um, by default, basically, you know, the uh, the Armon tried to, when initialized, try to boot. The first step is boot from flash, right there. But if the, you know, it's impossible for Armon, you know, to, when initialized, to uh, find the operating system there, you know, he tried flight zero, which basically is a USB. And then if there is not uh, possible to find the operating system in there, go to the flash, uh, flash one, I guess, right there, compact flash. So in this case, it was not, the operating system was not found, so uh, there is no choice if with the device right here. So look, all these options that we have on the device so it's possible to boot from any of those if you have the operating system for example into the usb but in this case i don't have that so the only choice that i have is boot from the tftp server and um and there is a bit you know sometimes very convenient because uh when i you know try to get support to customer and i and then you know the only choice is connect remotely to the a computer and then you know through uh, through the that remote section open uh, open uh, a console port right like a, you know for example in this case so basically that's the only choice that we have so um, in order to you know both the unit from the TFTP server we need to define some variables on the ARMON. and one of them is the IP address uh, uh, IP subnet mask uh, the file gateway server IP the uh, image that we need to boot and then you know save the changes in order to uh, to boot from the TFTP server so let's go ahead and you know start to assign those, those variables into the configuration so uh, for example we have IP underscore address equal 172.16 the one that one forty enter IP subnet mask equal two five five two five five two five five that zero the four gateway The full gateway and the full gateway 172.16.0.1 and then the TFTP server, TFTP server IP address of course equal 172.16.1.102. So basically, what is we need? Oh, we need the TFTP file. TFTP underscore file equal and I have the TFTP sir you know the file that we need to boot and this one is this one right here that one right there copy me like this paste enter so now we need to save the changes right so in order to save the changes we need to try the command sync basically sync and that will say all the changes of all these variable assigned to the armon great so now we need to execute the uh, one command in particular which is right here this one this will tftp image download so tftp d d m l d dash r that's the command and let me Let's see what happens when you execute that. All the IP parameters are fine. We save the configuration. We have the uh, AOS name. So let's try this. Right there. So let me tell you something. Very important is look the all the parameters. Uh, it's very important, you know, look the GE port. It is a GE 0-0. It means that, for example, if you have 
connect you have if you connect you know the RG45 cable to it the Ethernet cable to the uh, GE zero dash one on the router of course it will not boot because by default the interface is the uh, gigabit Ethernet zero dash zero so be careful with that sometimes that is one of the mistakes that people do you know that the unit doesn't I mean, the process doesn't work because they have the connect, the, you know, the Ethernet cable and the ground interface. And look at that. Basically, the unit is booting from, from you know, from the TFTP server download. Look at the image right there. So now from here, we can, you know, just uh, try to copy the operating system from the TFTP, right? And then... Um, or basically just you know just leave the unit boring from the TFTP. You 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 can also do that. You know you need to obviously you know make some changes into the uh, gigabit Ethernet configuration. For example, right here on the gigabit Ethernet zero uh, dash zero that was a DHCP address uh, right here. Look at that and one seventy two that sixteen that one one forty two. So uh, basically you you need only to um, to tell that the router that you need to boot from there enable a uh, computer terminal uh, boot system that's it the option see tftp and then right there we need to specify what is the address of the tftp server 172.16.1.1.2 and the operating system name that we already know that paste enter so basically we are just booting from there from the TFTP server that's it exit save the configuration but the most important thing once you boot the unit you can you know just copy another operating system you know but in this case just uh, I just uh, you know uh, select the, the TFTP so I have another another parameters right here. Let's erase this one right here just in case. Copy. Uh, no. Boot system flash and the operating system. That was the previous operating system. What happened was maybe by mistake or I don't know by accident somebody deleted the operating system. Let's see. There is no operating system in there. The only choice is show version, for example. And here is from which uh, operating system is booted, and it's booted from a TFTP server. So basically, guys, that is how you um, recover the unit from, you know, from Armon, assign some variables onto the Armon configuration, and then boot from, you know, from a TFTP server. So basically, this is how that works, guys. And uh, you know, I mean, I will just, you know, just leave, you know, the video up here. And I really appreciate your time. And uh, if you like the video, please give me a like, subscribe to my channel, share with your friends or coworkers. And uh, I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much.